The fate of Cornelius, the Roman centurion. Cornelius, enveloped in irresistible emotion, and addressed the master with deep respect. Sir, my subordinate is at home. He lies in his bed paralyzed and suffers a lot. And he says to him, I will go and heal you. Cornelius, trembling with emotion and happiness at the deference that Jesus paid him, says, Lord, I am not worthy to receive you in my house. Say one word and my servant will be healed. In the 1930s of the Christian era, Quilirius Cornelius was in Rome saying goodbye to his family as he had received transfer orders to Judea. The imperial army needed a soldier like him who mastered the Greek language. He would command a century under the governors of Pontius Pilati. Pilati had forced the people to revere the symbol of the Roman eagle when he with a legion of soldiers paraded through the streets of Jerusalem. This caused a great annoyance in Jews, as the Jewish religion forbade the worship of images. On the other hand, the religious authorities of the Sanhedrin were deeply concerned about the man who was revered as the Messiah. They feared that this man would become the king of Israel and denounced him to the Roman government. Cornelius, after some time since he had arrived in Jerusalem, was soon summoned by the commander of the centurions. Cornelius, there is a denunciation of the supreme pontiff, weighing on the prophet of Nazareth. It is said that this man promotes healing and speaks wisely far above the rabbis. I want you to wear a disguise and find out what his real purposes are. Cornelius, in order to carry out the orders that he had received, went in the clothes of a commoner to meet the master. The sun was receding from the horizon and on a hillside a considerable crowd of an attitude of mystical exaltation waited the master. Within a short time, the sweet Nazarene was present, accompanied by some disciples. He wore a white tunic and over it a dark burgundy robe. His hair blew in the wind like a ripe wheat. The centurion felt a sense of peace he had never felt before. He got closer and could observe the man's facial features. The hair was brown with golden highlights, and from them seemed to come out rays of light like the sun. Jesus spoke about the immortality of the soul, the fleetingness of material goods, humility, forgiveness, mercy, 
and taught finally about the love that must be had for all creatures. Cornelius was overwhelmed by the eloquent preaching and thought, how could anyone find him dangerous? Deep in his soul, he would like to be one of the disciples, abandon everything and follow him. Quirilius Cornelius, aware of his duty, presented a brief report to the commander, in which he mentioned that the Galilean was not attacking the peace and security of the state. One day Cornelius was in charming Carfanaum, a village on the shores of the Blue Sea of Galilee, where he had gone to visit a family of Jews who had grown fond of him. Cornelius noticed a strange movement in the locality. It was the master who arrived in a small boat and went to a small hill near the beach, healing the sick and exemplifying his teachings. Suddenly, a man got up and stood in front of the master and spoke to him. I know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. Saying this, the man falls and starts to roll on the floor suffering convulsions. He was ruled by an inferior spirit. The amazed crowd followed the scene. Jesus, calmly, in a tone of compassion and love, tells the spirit to leave the man. Soon a leper advances and the frightened people move away so that the man can pass. He, in that terrible suffering, addresses the master. If you want, Lord, you can clean me of this evil. Jesus dipped his sweet gaze and said, I do, stay clean. Cornelius had to delay his departure for Jerusalem. One of his most esteemed soldiers who accompanied him contracted a mysterious illness that left him paralyzed. Cornelius decided to look for Jesus. He had learned that he was staying in a house by the lake. The centurion approached the site wearing his gleaming Roman armor. The men were afraid of the soldier's presence. Jesus was in a conversation with his followers. Cornelius enveloped in irresistible emotion and addressed the master with deep respect. Sir, my subordinate is at home. He lies in his bed paralyzed and suffers a lot. I fear he will die. Can you save him? From the majestic figure of the master, it seemed that the rays of light were giving off and he says to him, I will go and heal you. Cornelius, trembling with emotion and happiness at the deference that Jesus paid him, says, Lord, I am not worthy to receive you in my house. Say one word and my servant will be healed. A slight smile was expressed on the master's magnificent countenance and he said with deep admiration, In truth, I tell you, I have not found such faith in anyone in Israel. Go and let it be done according to your faith. Source, psychographed book Cornelius, 
the centurion who saw Jesus 